A Colorado veteran left waiting for important medication to arrive in his mailbox. Yeah, very frustrating. Now he's turning to contact Denver 7's CB Cotton for help as he awaits for answers from the Postal Service. Yep. This medicine usually helps David Goss rest. Sometimes if you have neuropathy at night, it's hard to sleep and uh, it helps uh, you relax so you can sleep. But over the past two weeks, all he's done is worry. His usual shipment of medication never arrived. All last week, no mail. So he took matters into his own hands. I had a, an appointment a week ago Monday at the VA, so I figured I'm going to pick up my uh, medication there. But he also started asking questions. He says he and others depend on the Postal Service. My medications from the VA, they're in the mail. That's important. So late last week, after 10 days of no mail, he flagged down a carrier who told him. I'm contracted from Nevada to come here and deliver mail. And I've been working 8 in the morning to 10 at night. In this lengthy statement to Denver 7, USPS said in part that staffing is impacting delivery abilities, adding that the Denver area needs more than 120 carriers. The agency also said they are indeed using personnel from the surrounding region. Something's going on. In late January, neighbors just south of Denver talked to Denver 7 about delayed mail service. It starts becoming very obvious you go out and you don't get mail for two, three, four days. USPS began a hiring campaign in 2021 that was supposed to continue through early this year. Goss hopes that they get the people they need because he and others are counting on them. I'd be glad if it came once every three days. In Denver, I'm CB Cotton. Denver 7. And if you believe your mail is delayed or lost, you can reach out to the Postal Service by calling the number there on your screen. You can also file a complaint on the Postal Service website.